So, were y'all okay with that break from Queens or not? Because for a second, I was confused. I thought maybe it was the season finale and I missed out. Like, Thanksgiving. Like, wh why did... Either way, we know how shows do. Come on, let's let's go. Let's jump into it. So, Queens episode 7, who shot ya? Because it was some shooting going down. Yes, y'all. So, finally getting a little bit of answers to this whole billboard situation. Who shot them? Or, well, technically, I got some inklings on who was shot. But, like, what was going on? That background. Anywho, so... All black car, this person's in all black. I immediately felt like it was a female just by even the stature. So whoever this is, I think definitely think it's a girl. But E-Rock immediately like jumps in front. Like he knows that this is for him. Because he's like, I'll get you your money. Because, bump it, we ain't going to be going in order. What happened, technically happened was, was remember that 750K that he told muffin that he had all taken care of right so technically he borrowed that money from jada kiss and jada kiss of course now is wanting back on his money and he don't got the money so he's like well basically you need to give me that money by tonight or whatever whatnot now muffin's worried she's you know panicking she was at the house when that happened so she like, how, how are you going to fix this? Like, what are you going to do? And she wants to help. And she does try to help, right? So they, uh, you know, she's like, you know, he doesn't want to tell the girls, of course, or whatever, whatnot, because he's just getting their trust back. And so her idea is, oh, this Walter Wade, Walter something. It just reminded me of a Walter Wade. It reminded me of Walter Wade from Shaft. So he was like, she was like, um, he's been wanting me to do a private show. That's at least 250K, uh, whatever right so they go to this weirded out like angus it was a weirded out party but i guess it was like some launch party it was just weird in the beginning i didn't really understand it but basically he definitely let her know what he wanted from her at that point you know he was like i want the full-on muffin experience and offers her some freaking drugs yes and what was so messed up y'all is muffin was actually muffin was actually ready to take it like that's how much she i feel like she rode ride for eric and you know as well like she was saying she's like you know i learned a therapy that i have to take accountability for my actions so she was she was ready to take that l just so that Eric could get this money, and as well, because she's scared, I think she's scared for him, right, so, he's like, nah, I can't let you do that, you're not gonna do that, we're gonna go, so, they didn't get the money, of course, he pulls up, uh, Jada Kids pulls up on them, on him, and he's like, you know, what, where's my money, where's the money, there is no money, so, he's like, well, boom, this will we do, because he's like, well, boom, I guess you just, you know, just gonna have to take, you know, take me out then because I don't have it he's like nah I ain't about you know taking people out the streets or whatever whatnot he's like that you know basically that that little past deal is now dead in order to pay back your debt I want 10 percent and he's like okay well once you get your 750 that's good no he's like I want 10 percent of the entire tour profit and beyond like that deal ain't even it no more and he's like and for a second i Again, because this is kind of like how they broke up to begin with. Uh, all the snaky and she, uh, sh sn sneaky, shady shit in the back, um, on the back end. So, but he said no. So, boom, they just start to fight and whatnot. But he handled himself. He had jaded kids. He had his two securities and he was out the door, right? So, that's that, y'all. Why Valeria ain't? Valeria up, up to that point had not come uh, up to the beginning of the episode had not confronted her mom so um she ends you know and they're looking at her like what is even wrong with you for not even come you know confronting her all this time and I think she was like that you know she kind of like basically set little things up where you know she just had like nice stuff out so to see if she would steal it she was saying that she's been keeping an eye out on her banking information but nothing has changed but it's still like I at this point knowing that she did that because of course she did confront her and she's like oh it's just I was just so proud and you have to understand like coming around this now and ah oh, bull bull I do not trust this lady I I 
Nah, once the whole credit card situation, like, I knew she was going to try to find a way to nicely sneak, like, try to stay, try to save herself, but I knew it was going to be crap. I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it. So, she has Eric get a P.I. and have the P.I. look into her, right? So, hold on, y'all. This, I see my microphone in the camera. All right, boom, a whole lot better. So she has Eric, um, you know, they get a PI to look into, you know, the mom. And what we end up finding out is what we basically already knew. We knew that she was not who she said she was. Not only is she not her mom, she's a con artist. She has a rap sheet, uh, full on criminal, right? Like, like she, she's completely, but Valeria felt like, like, though, at the end of it all, she knew exactly who her mom was, and she was, but Eric told her, like, we don't know this woman, we don't know how dangerous she is, like, Valeria just hard-headed, like, why would you, like, she, com he, she confronted her anyway, when he told her, basically, not to confront her, let's wait, let's try to handle this another way, no, she still confronts anyway. And of course, like, what does the woman do? Like, she's, and which I, at the same time, though, I get it. Let me just sit back and relate for a second because I know how I am when I know something or I feel some type of way. And I'd be like, nope, I'm leave it alone. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to leave it alone. And then when that, if that's the situation with a person and then your face and then you know they're being fake, especially after you know what you know. And it's just like, nah, I can't sit here and just let, no. She was just like, yeah, Belinda, or whatever her name is, it was something with a B. Um, and it did. It's low-key got a little dangerous. Like, she choked her and was like, you know, now that you know how dangerous I am, you're not going to go to the cops, right? So, it's like, you're not going to go to the cops, uh, but... Basically saying, you know, like, she admitted that she knew about her mother or who her mother was. And it's basically telling her that she didn't love you. She didn't want you. Um, why do you think it was so easy for me to, you know, be able to con you or scam you into being her or whatnot? So, she got a name. You know, she wanted the name. So, she got her mom's name and she left. But, again, she, again, Valeria not listening. She told Valeria not to go to the cops. I can't think of any other reason why Valeria went to the police station. And, of course, she's watching her as she's coming out of the police station. And what does she have in the front seat? A gun. So, I immediately feel like it's her. Like, wh wh why would, like, at, at, at this point... She, you did exactly what she told you not to do. Uh, like, it, it's, I definitely think that she is the shooter. And because of Eric just running out of the fight with Jada kissing them and them shooting at him, he automatically was thinking that that was for him. And that's why he was saying, oh, you're going to get your money. It wasn't for Eric. I'm, I'm very, I very well believe that that was Valeria mom, Valeria people. You yeah. know. Yeah, or her fake mom, or yeah, yeah, that's that's very well what I think. Uh, all right, so let's talk about uh, this whole Valeria and, excuse me, no, not Valeria. Let's talk about how, ha, let's talk about how Naomi, yes, and Rodrigo are clearly hitting some things off. Uh, they're texting, um... Eric's getting a little angry about it, even when finding out she was going on a little date. Like, you can just see how it's slightly, you know, possibly bothering him a little bit. But, of course, he's playing it absolutely cool. He's not even, he's playing it completely cool. And, um, even Brianna's like, you know, go on this date. Like, you need this or whatever, whatnot. You, you, you need some new time or what, whatnot between you know, JoJo and, and our career, like, you know, go ahead and get this date. And so she's like, basically, you need a chaperone. So not only am I going to help you figure out what you're going to wear, like all that good stuff. And then they get to talking about, uh, the relationship with E-Rock. And apparently like, I guess none of the girls knew, none of them knew that they were a thing back in the day. And she kind of asked her like, you know, well, what about 
Eric, like, you know, you and JoJo, you know, what about just being a family? And I, while I don't think it's completely out of Naomi's mind, I definitely don't think that maybe, maybe that's something that she's focusing on. Her, she, you, you know, so, what you know, which I told her to get. Part of me does, like, I kind of do want them to explore that a little bit. I'm, I'm kind of open to just, you know, kind of see how, what that dynamic, their relationship, but hey, that door's closed. But either way, Rodrigo is definitely pu pulling on the stops to get with her. And, like, so... You can just tell that Naomi just has, like, you know, she just got some work and stuff that just needs to be done. Just the inside, because um, even when, when they went on their date, oh, which I want to hit on this first, and I just knew it because uh, Brianna, remember, and at the same time that Brianna was talking about Eric and Naomi, she was talking about her experiences with Jeff and what it was like when they first started dating and um, how he was just messy, but he would just always end up somehow making things more m memorable after the mess. So when she found out what, where, um, why'd I do that? Sorry, swapping away notification. So when they found out, um, she basically, she was, so when they went, when she found out, cause she was, again, she was going on a date with her. So when she found out where they were, they were walking to the restaurant and she sees where their date is. She's like, I didn't know the date was here. And she just gets, you've been doing so good. Don't be rude. <laughs> Wish I could see the way she's looking at me right now. Um, so, where was I at? You made me lose my train of thought. Eh. So, yes, yeah, so when they pull up to the restaurant, she, you know, she recognizes the restaurant. She's like, I didn't know the rest, uh, you know, the dinner was here. And, uh, she's like, I can't, I, I have to go. I knew immediately that that was the restaurant that she was referring to when she was talking about, um, you know, just experiences and how Jeff was when they were dating and things like that. I immediately knew. And so you're just going to beat yourself up with toys. All right, y'all. Let so just from that reaction alone, I immediately knew that that was the restaurant that they were, that she was talking about and they had her, basically her and Jeff had been to that restaurant together and it was a trigger. It was a, you know, she's still going through it. She's still mourning, you know, the death of Jeff. So moving back to, you know, their date, um, it's so, it's like low key awkward and, uh, Bria, um, Naomi's candid and she talked and she, you know, tells Rodrigo how they didn't, it isn't, you know, that wasn't something that, you know, she normally did. And kind of after she was started, like, you know, just more talking, it was kind of just like, all right, well, we know what we want from each other. So why don't we just go ahead and get that and keep it going? And I think that's what she's used to, or at least that's how she's used to moving. And Rodrigo, you know, was just like, you know, that's too easy. And I know that, you know, not necessarily calling her easy, but there's, he was basically saying there's nothing about you, you know, that's just easy and simplified. And he wants to get to know her. And the date ends and, um before the date ends like Brianna had uh, Naomi had called to check up on Brianna and she was in that I love LA sweatshirt having some wine and that solidified for me that 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 restaurant was was a memorable moment for her and Jeff so she coaxes Naomi anywho moving on the date ends and he wants to you know he doesn't want the date to end but now Brianna is texting Naomi, telling her like that is where we. I think it was like they had had their date and they went there like every anniversary, and she misses him. And you know she told Rodrigo, yes, I you know I don't want this date to end either, but I need to go and you know be there for my friend. And she does. They go and. She goes and of course all the other girls show up. Of course, whatnot, and um. They're just talking, and even Jill, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna pause on that part. We're gonna pause on that part. Matter of fact, nah, we're gonna go ahead and get into it. So, even Jill is apologizing, because Jill is, oh uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do it. Jill even apologizes, because 
she knows like she's been all over the place. She's been an absolute mess. And what ended up happening is, is Brianna uh, ends up dropping something. I think she drops the chips and she goes, you know, to pick it up and she finds that note or that envelope that Jeff had given her in like that first or second episode because remember he, he was having surgery and uh you know she finally opens it like y'all this was what Jeff told me to open if he didn't make it and y'all if I wasn't an all out crybaby I'm just an absolute crybaby to begin with he left her it was um and it was just like, I think it was like the name of a file and a password so probably the password what password to his computer and she opens it, and of course, it's a video. It's a video. He's like, you know, if you're watching this, clearly I didn't make it, and I know things just weren't the best, but just showing her appreciation and the recognition that, you know, kind of giving her her flowers, you know, it was just a complete tearjerker. Everybody was crying. Obviously, she was crying. All the other girls were crying. It was such a, yeah, I had a, I had a whole moment, y'all. I was being a crybaby. And before I start to cry right now, just thinking about it, let's, let's check him back on what's going on with Jill. So, Jill. Jill is the thing, right? So, not the thing, but Jill is, is what it is right now. So, uh, we got another cameo. We have another cameo from Wyclef. Wyclef came and made himself. I was like, hi, walk left. I love walk left. So, uh, they were doing a song together and like, you know, she was rapping and then, you know, he kind of like asked her about, um, like basically like what it more needed, what she really think about it or whatnot. And it ended up her turning into her putting some ballads down, singing on the track as well. The only thing, issue about that was, is they had a place to be. They had the tour announcement. That's what it was. They had the tour announcement and, she, uh, he asked her like, okay, unless you ain't got nothing to do. And she's like, no, but they had that tour announcement or that press tour, uh, the press announcement for their tour. I think that's the best way to word it. So boom, even get into that when they do that press, because of course she was late per usual. And she does tell the girls though, that, you know, she was working with Wyclef, um, but she's committed. She's committed to the group, whatever. At the press conference, nobody, everybody just wants to talk about Jill. Jill's new stardom. Jill and Tina. Uh, uh, or the mess with Muffin. Like, nobody wants to talk about the actual tour. And it kind of got, like, the girls upset. But it was, like, even to the point, like, they, one of the um pops or journalists, whatever you want to call them, was like, well, how to basically do we know that this is going to work again and not be like it was the last time, you know, in 2001. And I want to say it was Brianna read them straight that whatever, because I don't remember. But yeah, so moving on from that, Tina, remember, she she straight used Tina. <gasps> no, no, y'all, I lied, I lied. No, Tina. Tina could also possibly be the shooter, and this is why. First off, Tina is somebody else now. Like I said, Tina is somebody else now. She is not staying for the mess anymore she basically feels like uh she literally caught caught jill in in the in the car garage so to the point that anytime anybody you catch somebody in the car garage it's just a scary thing you don't know who if anybody's around like a lot of times you seem like you know all these cars are around you seem like you alone uh anywho so she's basically like I know you're scared and I like you scared because you know that basically you did me wrong and you're worried about me now going and basically telling all your secrets, telling not even your secrets, just telling the truth about you and saying how you lied. And now I know I, I see you for who you are now. You're evil. And like she was going in on Jill and basically told her that she needs to watch her back. Uh, 
yeah, it may, it definitely left me like she was she could, she was going to hurt her. Like that's how mad mad she was, y'all. That's what it was. Oh yes, y'all. That's what it was. She told Jill to kill herself, y'all. Yes, she when she told Jill to kill herself, I was like, oh, oh yeah, you you mad man. You mad, mad. Like, she felt just wrong done. And so, I was like, oh, no. She very well possibly could be the shooter, too. So, it's a matter of who just, who has the more malice. Who has something more to gain. Um, I think we just about, I've hit everything that I mainly wanted to hit on. This was such a good episode. Not just yet. Uh, almost. So, uh, getting back to Jill. So again, remember she's committed. She said she's committed to, you know, Queens and the group. And while Clef offers to do, um, a solo album immediately after she comes off of tour. And technically the Queens are supposed to be doing an album right off of, you know, they come off the tour and he's not trying to throw no shade, but he's like, you know, Kind of like, you, you need to strike it while it's hot. You're it right now, and groups don't, they just don't always last. So you kind of just got to do what you got to do. But, again, some, some uh, shoot, sorry. I, I just knew that, you know, I, I, I because how, the, how they broke up, I, every little bit of temptation, I feel like they're going to try to take it, and that's what's going to be the fall or the fallout or, you know, just something happened with the group again. And But she declined for now, I feel like. I feel like if right now she's saying no. I feel like this is not the end of it, of her possibly, you know, doing a solo album. Um, so, yeah. So, fast-forwarding back to the beginning of the episode. The beginning, we think E Rock got shot. Technically, you know, telling the person you don't have to do this, I'm gonna get your money. Um, no. Blood splashed on him. And when he turned around, um, all you hear is, you know, a car pulling off. And I was like weirded out because I was like, wait a minute, did they did somebody just snatch all of them up <laughs> and put them in a the car and take off? But <laughs> yeah, my imagination. But no. Brianna got shot, y'all. Brianna got shot and like all up in the chest. It's hella red. She's hella bleeding and ain't no way in hell. ABC ain't no who who Swiss beats with the I know you just do the music, but like I know we didn't get here to get here. Y'all Y'all like this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe. Turn on your notifications so that you can see me next week and see when I pull out the next video for Queens. Um, this is probably, as I've been thinking about doing more recoup recaps, <laughs> this might be my only actual, like, series show that I might do. I think I'm going to stick to... Um, or stick to do and just stick to uh reality tv and reality shows so uh nonetheless turn those notifications on so you can be notified when i post up the next video especially the next video for queens and i know we ain't get here to get here what's one thing about it well that's when i think i know what's going on i don't know what's going on and i don't know what's gonna happen so Catch me later, y'all. Catch me next week. We we got to see what's gonna happen with Brianna, cause that that took me out. That's that it just took me out. Okay. <sighs>